I'm 16. Nourishing the community and empowering tomorrow's leaders. It's what they do at Healing Meals Community Kitchen in Simsbury. Melissa Cole got the chance to see the group in action and was also there for a very special surprise for some of the volunteers. Take a look. Uh, today we're making mushroom, uh, a mushroom tower. It's got an olive tapenade and some greens and it's going to be really good. These teens are busy making delicious and nutritious food for families dealing with a health crisis. It's the mission of Healing Meals Community Project, founded by Sarah Leathers. We cooked our first meals in March of 2016, um, and we've uh, served over 160,000 meals um, to over 2,000 families. The meals are 100% organic, gluten, dairy, corn, and soy free. Food is delivered weekly because when you're in and out of the hospital or caring for someone who's ill, sometimes cooking is last on the list. The one thing that often goes by the wayside when a family is going through a health crisis is food. They're exhausted, they're tired, and it's easy to pick up a pizza or a casserole. And, and it's wonderful, there's so many great meal trains, but when your body is in a health crisis, and whether it's you, the person who's ill, or your family, you're all under a, a great amount of stress. And so putting the very best food in your body is actually very nourishing. Um, and for us, I think what we all also here is knowing a hundred people came together to make these meals um, is is actually also very healing. High school students ages 14 and up help prepare and package the food and for some it hits close to home. I got involved in Healing Meals because my mom was actually sick when I was around 10 and so she got meals from Healing Meals and so I ended up like eating them as well and I was like oh my gosh these are so good. And did it make a big difference for your family? It did make a big difference for my family. It was nice to have that off the table for my mom. She loves to eat healthy, and so making healthy meals hard. It takes a lot of effort, and so Healing Meals really provided us with good meals um, that would help her get better. I love the community, and I know everybody always says it, but I joined during COVID, and it was a really quiet time, and I just needed a group of people to be thrown into, and I think the family here has just been really awesome. For some, it's the first time they've cooked anything. I would say after the first shift, there's just a change and a comfort because lots of us are learning how to cook at the same time and we have an amazing executive chef and kitchen team that you can't make a mistake in healing meals. There's no bad questions. Like It's a really safe place to just be the best of who you can be. I've learned some of my favorite recipes here and um, new ways to incorporate like healthier options to my meals like by swapping out maple syrup or sugar and stuff like that. I also love cooking too and I think coming here has improved my cooking skills, um, helped me improve other people's. Along with the meals, families also receive an encouraging handwritten message. So every week we write cards to all of the clients and um, we just write little notes about like where we're from or what we did this week and just like nice little messages and I feel like it really makes a big impact on all of the clients. Notes often come back to the group like this one expressing so much gratitude during such a hard time. It's like really nice just knowing what we do goes back to people who need it and like a lot of times Susan reads out messages that she gets back from the clients and it's just so nice to like hear their words back. So we have a group of seniors who are graduating. Yes. Many have been here since they're 14. Yes. Yes. And we are so proud of them. Uh, we're so grateful for all that they have done for us and we really want to honor them um, as they as they launch. As a surprise, these high school seniors are being honored with a certificate and Healing Meals graduation cords. So we want to celebrate. You can wear these at your graduation and um, represent Healing Meals and all the hard work that you've done here. Anna, 285 hours, and you started in November 2020. I do remember that time, right? Bella, 185 hours, and you started in June 2020. Congratulations. And for me, it's extra special to see my daughter receive one. She has loved her time volunteering here. Charlotte. 155 hours. You started in 2022. They may be graduating and off to college. I'm Sam from Avon. I'm going to Bucknell next, next year.
but they won't be strangers at the Healing Meals kitchen. I definitely am going to come back and visit. It's I'm very sad to leave, but I know I'll be back on breaks, and I have two other siblings coming through the years, so I'll be back a lot. We've had college kids already come back um, who just finished their freshman year, have come back um, and have come in and volunteered with us and and we hope that happens year after year that they don't forget about us um, and but they take this experience out into the world and want to find ways to support families in the communities that they're going to to learn more about healing meals and how you can get involved or even donate to their cause please visit healingmealsproject.org and right now by the way the group is providing food for about 95 families in 75 different towns here That's in Connecticut incredible and Amazing. so good Melissa Cole doing such a nice job with yeah, Charlotte it was beautiful really nice all right today was the day 